Immunization saves lives and brings great social and economic returns. Progress in this area has been phenomenal. Now is the time to safeguard and build on these achievements because events in our region in the past few years have been a wake-up call. Large outbreaks have affected thousands. There has been suffering, even children dying, and from diseases that can easily be prevented by vaccination. In 2014, all member states of the WHO European region agreed on a new course. The European Vaccine Action Plan set a path that is both challenging and inspiring. With the plan, member states agreed on five objectives. Objective 1. All countries commit to immunisation as a priority. To reach our common goals, the engagement and ownership of political decision makers is crucial. They need to commit to immunisation as a force for good in public health and as an individual right. We need to make sure that national immunisation programmes are supported by legislation and governed by managerial tools and receive strategic guidance so that they can formulate and implement policies that are based on evidence. Objective 2. Individuals understand the value of immunisation services and vaccines and demand vaccination. This is about every individual, family, community. About making sure that people understand and trust vaccination and the authorities that deliver it. We want individuals to demand immunisation as their right and as their responsibility. We need to understand the complex and context-specific attitudes to vaccination and refine our messages and communication so that no one is excluded. Objective 3. The benefits of vaccination are equitably extended to all people through tailored, innovative strategies. Every individual should be protected irrespective of age, gender, socio-economic status, geographical location, ethnicity, nationality or religious affiliation. We need to make sure that immunisation policies are non-discriminatory and that immunisation services are user-friendly. With electronic immunisation registries, we will know who has not been vaccinated, where they are and which communities they are a part of. This will be a giant step forward. But we need to take it further to understand why they are not vaccinated and to tailor our immunisation programmes and services accordingly. Objective 4. Strong immunisation systems are an integral part of a well-functioning health system. Protecting our populations against vaccine-preventable diseases requires continued investment. We need resilient programmes with knowledgeable health workers, strong monitoring and surveillance systems and supply chains that deliver the right vaccines to the right place at the right time. We also need to work in synergy with other healthcare programmes and integrate immunisation programme functions with the functions of the overall health system. Objective 5. Immunisation programmes have sustainable access to predictable funding and high quality supply. New vaccines and technologies provide opportunities to protect children, teenagers and adults against even more diseases. But if we want to benefit from this, we need sustainable programmes that are able to mobilise the necessary resources and use these resources efficiently and in a manner where they have access to quality assured vaccines at affordable prices. With the European Vaccine Action Plan, Member States set a new path towards the vision of a European region free of vaccine preventable diseases. But the plan is more than visions and dreams. Each objective is rooted in specific indicators so that we can measure progress and document successes.